should have an email pop up in here here in a second. Yep, here we go. Confirm your registration. Open link in new tab. We'll no longer need that. And you're going to go over here. Registration is done. I can now log in. Click log in. Paste my username. Password is capital C O O L space capital G U Y. Like I said, feel free to use the account. I'm not keeping it. You have no active torrents. See that? You've got to wait a certain amount of time before you can start a new torrent. But after a while, you know, you can go ahead and make like 300 of these if you felt like it. Then you can go into your torrenting application, which I'm sure you have one. KTorrent, Transmission if you're on Linux. You know, just open a torrenting application of some sort. I'm going to go and look to create a new torrent. I don't know how to do this because I haven't done this forever. I haven't spread like this. Well, I don't do this commonly at all. Um, new. It's got to be under the new button. Uh, source file, none. Alright. So I'm going to go and I'm going to... I can't believe you've done this. All right, and we are back. So, sorry about that. Had an issue arise. I've literally done nothing. Nothing at all. So, going over here, here's my malware. Open. There we go. Save to the desktop. That's where the torrent file will be. Trackers, you'll want to add some trackers. Hang on, we'll just pull trackers out of someone else's file. We'll just look at their trackers. Uh, let's go music. Alright, click this. I'm not downloading it, so I'm not doing anything illegal. What are the trackers? I need the trackers. What the heck? Where are the trackers? Hold on. I might actually have to pull the trackers out this way. Alright, do not start when added, because I don't want to download anything. I'll add trackers in a second. Creating test2.exe, add. Alright, open. Okay, I'm going to open this, view the properties, uh, trackers. There we go. Now I'm going to go back here. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not actually downloading that, by the way. I'm not going to keep it. I don't even like Kanye. I mean, you can say what you will about me, but I don't like him. Add a tracker. We're going to go UDP colon slash slash tracker dot open bit torrent dot com port 80 add that then we're going to go udp colon slash slash open dot demony dot com one three three one oh my goodness one three three seven there And we're basically going to do this for everything. Uh, UDP colon slash slash tracker dot copper surfer surfer dot tk colon six, six nine six nine. I'm going to keep doing this for all of them. I'm just copying over UDP colon slash slash exodus dot desync dot com colon six nine oh my goodness I cannot type today I believe that's right and I just realized that's a pair of tits those are boobs okay I'm gonna have to blur that out alright so now that we've got that I'm gonna go ahead and delete the files and remove didn't actually download anything 
except for the torrent file, which doesn't actually contain anything except the uh, connection information, I believe. So now we've got this, seeding to zero of zero of peers. Uh -huh. Copy the magnet link, and then we're going to go back to wherever I was, back to our account information. There we go. I'm not going to change that. How do we create a torrent? Should be down here. Yeah, there we go. Click Upload Torrent. Torrent name, um, test. We'll just go test. Torrent. Oh, well. Looks like we're not going to need the magnet link. Man, I can't talk today. 4chan missing person. Don't worry about that. Um, there we go. There's the torrent file. Category. Um, go games, PC, anonymous, tags, test. Alright. I screwed up and hit the uh, enter key. Um, don't download this. It's just a test. In the real world, you would actually fill this out like it was a legitimate application. For example, a cracked version of Photoshop. Because everyone here is a cheap jerk. R-A-L-A-S-T-E-R. And then you're going to click Add to Index. Of course, I haven't waited long enough. I think you have to wait like an hour. Or something. I believe. I'm not sure. I think they just closed out my account. <laughs> Pretty sure they just did. Yep, they did. They closed down my account. Probably because I'm using a VPN. But, yeah. You get the idea. Log in, create a torrent. you got to wait a while after you create your... Uh, account before you can upload so once you've done that it's literally just waiting until you s you will see how many people you've connected to and everything else I'm gonna delete the files and remove because I don't want anyone actually downloading that I mean it wouldn't be able to hurt them it's not encrypted and it's pointing at local host meaning it wouldn't be connecting to me it just stay on them but still, I don't want that kind of liability. So, basically that's how hackers spread their malware. Eventually, you would see people start popping up in here if you had your malware encrypted and everything. If not, you might see one or two people pop up in here and then disappear within a day. But the majority of the time, if you encrypt your malware, you will have people show up. Even if you're on Linux, like me, because Dark Comet still works on Linux. I find that surprising. So does NJRAT, but, you know, not many people know about NJRAT, unless you're on hack forums. Good website, by the way. Unfortunately, they block VPNs. But that's really all I wanted to show you. Those are the spreading methods that I've seen most commonly used. By the way, the pasteband and... Twitter or Facebook things also work on Twitter. So uh, I hope this helps you guys to avoid malware, not to spread it. I mean, if you spread it, that liability is on you. But I hope it helps you to avoid malware, because now you know what hackers do in order to spread it. So now you know how to avoid it. Basically, if you take nothing else away from this video, just remember this. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So there you go. Hope you guys have a nice night. Goodbye.